Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. I had Galaxy Watch 4 on pre-order from Samsung and it arrived with a little delay. I was expecting it on Friday but today is Tuesday. It just arrived, it's a seal in a box. And before I start my video, this video about unboxing, I've got no idea besides there's a watch in the box, what's inside. This review will be a little bit different. So what I'm trying to do is guide you through my first impressions of this uh, watch. I don't expect anything extraordinary. However, the point of this review is to understand what is the main difference Samsung produced in the last three years. The reason why I said three years is because I still got my original um, Galaxy watch. And then uh, after that was Galaxy Watch 2 Active, which didn't have bezel on top. Then was Galaxy Watch uh, 3. Some features that uh, Samsung promised were not available in Australia, such as um, AKG and other sport uh, metrics. So the idea for me I'm actually very happy with the Galaxy Watch and it's a very robust watch. The battery lasts uh, four days. And the only reason why I order this one is more sport metrics. So you may see online a lot of reviews, people talking about watch faces and how it tracks, the battery life and all of that. It's all fantastic, but if watch doesn't do what it's supposed to do, um, and has good battery life and nice uh, shiny uh, watch faces to me it defeats the purpose and then you go to more I guess advanced sport watches like a Garmin or all others they're not really user-friendly in the sense of um, communication and, and uh, normal day-to-day -day life so I'll be less focused on the battery life I expected it last at least one day which is good enough uh, and I'll recharge it every day. If it lasts two days, that means I may have, um, may get uh, one to three years uh, life out of this watch charging it daily. What is important to me to enhance my um, sport and activity metrics, it's monitoring my health and also because it's the first watch from Samsung based on Google Wear OS, um, uh, operating system I would like uh, to try use uh, Google Pay uh, with watch itself and better integration be between my applications and watch th itself I did not go to for classic version uh, with the bezel and the reason is that it costs almost hundred dollars more and as fancy as it is and I do love the bezel I cannot see why one would pay hundred dollars for a rotating bezel especially if um, uh, touch bezel um, getting uh, better and better with every single update so this video is not about what i feel uh, um, uh, my first impressions about watch it's about unboxing my first impressions and if watch uh, does what it's what i think it would do and what it's supposed to do it will be my future reviews but today is about unboxing so as you can see it's fully sealed just right from samsung let's open it up and see what's inside as i say besides watch itself i've got no idea what's inside i saw a couple of youtube reviews um and um i think i approximately know what to expect from the packaging all right so we open it up and inside Oh, the boss actually attached, so I can actually uh, keep closing it up. Oh, the watch is looking very neat. I was expecting it to look exactly like um, Watch 4. So, like like Galaxy Watch, but it, it looks a little bit, um, I guess, neater. Let me remove my Galaxy Watch and I'll show what do I mean. First of all, um, I know it's different in grams, but it feels a little bit lighter and it actually while displays the same size the watch is way lighter and the uh, strap is way nicer I would say it's very pleasant to touch 
and it's um, way thinner and the first impressions are actually even before I start using it um, I'm quite impressed with the quality of finish it does look like a um, very polished watch I had no problem with uh, Galaxy watch and watch 3 because they look the same but this watch feels much more refined let's see what else is in the box um, I guess it should be some sort of charger under the uh, um, under the packaging, I'll quickly, uh, oh, there's nothing here, ah, huh. there's nothing here, oh, okay, so it's on the other side, for people that wonder, usually, see how it's positioned, usually they have all the belongings under the watch itself, now they created a kind of hidden compartment with a latch on top, uh, I guess to pull and inside here I guess would be um, not really instructions but uh, regulations and also charges so and the only thing I see here oh, okay so the Samsung I guess um, warranty card and what is in here? And here's a charger. Uh, let's see if charger any different from. Oh, so I need to repeat. I need to. Oh right, so charger is actually different from um, Galaxy Watch. Galaxy Watch charger is kind of stand when this one is um, just round. What I'd like to do is to try to charge it in galaxy watch original watch charger and report back if it works of course the charger comes with no um, transformer so we can plug in any usb port um, so first impressions uh, what can i say uh, neat packaging the watch is light i cannot emphasize enough i know it's only a couple of grams difference but i tell you what uh, i'm not sure whether it's aluminium or just new design or whatever but this feels heavy when well, this one's very light watch. So what I'll do, I'll charge it up, I'll set it up, do all the updates, and I'll do my second video on first impressions of what is important to me. I won't report on a watch faces. Everyone can install a uh, watch face. I won't report on battery life. I think I will just mention it because to me, if it lasts one day and does everything that I really need, that's what matters to me and i also would like to report on heart rate my biggest problem with um, galaxy watch and watch 3 that when you sit in stationary the heart rate um really shows well but if you start doing exercise in the zone 2 or in zone 3 it's become a little bit um, not accurate and that's what i would like to see in the new watch with the improved sensor a little bit better reading of heart rate and all other metrics so stay tuned to my channel and in a couple of days time i'll post updates of first impressions of galaxy watch 4 from samsung and as usual all links down below where i got my watch and where you can get yours if you like it also please do me a big favor if you like this video or any other videos on my channel please feel free to subscribe share hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos in my um, future uploads. Thank you so much, Greek from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.